love is really such a complex thing. And I think when it's so genuine and authentic, as I believe the relationship is with um, John and Daya, it's just an immediate connection. And, and you kind of, you can't even put it in a word. I mean, I, you know, I think with, with, in my experiences, at least with people that you kind of fall deeply in love with, often I kind of know pretty quickly um, that, you can call it love at first sight maybe, but you, you know that there's a connection there and there's something happening there. Porn Sash is a very different person than Bennett is. Uh, and I think that even still, Bennett is, has some sympathy for him and sees how, um, probably doesn't see the full extent of the malice and you know the incident with Trisha in season one. And I think if he knew about that, it would be a different story. But, you know, I think he feels bad for the guy. And I think that anyone watching him could tell, anyone watching Porn Stash could tell that the man is so deeply insecure, <laughs> you know, um, that it's just, he's just trying to do everything he can to cover it. The complications with Bennett and Daya increase exponentially, you know, um, as they might further down any uh, road of pregnancy, I would imagine. Um, but particularly being behind bars is, uh, is an interesting experience. Um, but I, get, I guess they get to look forward to getting to know the characters they already know better, um, getting to know characters that they maybe saw a little bit of in season one really fully f uh, formed and developed. And I think that essentially that creates a more and more layered environment because you're seeing all these different characters, um, you know, their backstories being explored and, you know, where they come from and everything. So that when you're watching the scenes that aren't, backstory, you're seeing a, uh, a much fuller picture, you know, you understand where the characters are coming from. It, it's, um, it, it's, I think it creates for kind of a richer viewing experience. The comedy also breaks up the, the intensity and the weight of it. And I think in some ways that allows you to get even deeper. Um, I think that the, if, you know, sometimes in film or television that's just super heavy or like, you know, uh, you can almost, I think, build a protective barrier emotionally because you're aware that it's going to be so aggressively um, depressing. And I think the humor in it really breaks up um, the drama and, you know, you can get a good, like a laugh cry in, which is, I think, to me, like one of the best things because that's such a, it's such an amazing, um, like polar opposite experience and to I think it's just one of like one of the greatest signs of like you know good writing it's really rowdy <laughs> um, it's a lot of fun but it's a lot of it's a lot of energy and because we don't always you know because it's such an ensemble show it's rare that we're all in the same room together so when we are it's almost like it feels like a little bit like a party you know I think people have to to work to wrangle us and make sure that we're not uh, going off the rails, but it can get loud and it can get hot, it can get sweaty. And it's also, it's just a lot of, it's a lot of fun.